Nuclear missile ready. Gentlemen, it is another exciting day, and it is another day for StarCraft 2 action. Today, we have an NA versus EU matchup versus with Art facing off against Future. You know what? There's not much too, too much to say about these guys. Both are young and ready to go. And you know what? We're just going to hop right into this. We're in the lobby right now. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Nightshade. So, thank you all for tuning in, and welcome, welcome, welcome.
So, uh, this is another episode of the Alpha Pro series, obviously. And uh, if you guys are not familiar with the Alpha Pro, I'd like to give you a couple of things. One, this is a best of nine show match series versus players of all different calibers, all different types. And we've had some amazing games. We've had Rogue, we've had Innovation, we've had Zest, Patreon. Uh, and a bunch of NA heroes as well, like, and uh, a bunch of others. There, there have been so many different iterations of this. This is actually number 175. That tells you what kind of appeal that this series has. Now, it is best of nine. Like I said, there will be no repeat seven maps of the current map pool. And after that, it's anything goes. So Get to that point, a full best of nine series, you can ensure, ensure that we're going to be seeing some crazy shenanigans. You know what? These guys are some of the best of the best in their region. So while we're getting this started up, just make sure you go check out the Maturito page as well. The Maturito page will obviously have a bunch of different things that you can, can do support this series a bunch of sponsor quests and quite frankly just a bunch of amazing ways that you can support these players and speaking of these players let's hit them up down he here in the top position of the map is alpha x's art and his opponent down here in the bottom he's sporting the pink but for Okay, so Okay. <laughs> I was reading the I, I was reading their in game chat, but no, down here is art for Alpha X. And up here in the top, Young Prodigy, he is future. Just using his social <laughs> standpoint right there, but that's a good start, getting the players confused. It does look like Art is going to be coming out here for a nice, cheap little scout. Nothing too crazy is going to be going on. Remember that this has the potential to be a very long series. Uh, best of nines take a lot of guts, a lot of determination, and a lot out of you. All things considered, as uh, you have a lot to think about here. Uh-oh. Popping a little. Okay. So both sides just going to be expanding a bit and uh, not really going to be doing anything too crazy here. Like we have a little bit of shout out for a future as well. That there is a low ground here. That's a very interesting uh, for that base and look at that future is going to get caught out here in the map and first blood is going to be had maybe the adept doesn't even seem to care about that really look at that even future going to get away for there so uh very proactive against these guys making sure that he doesn't lose unnecessarily to the adept got his factory up as well so looks like he is a bit delayed um just to say, the Reaper has to come home to defend this, but even uh, the Reaper won't be enough versus this, as that Adept is a very tank. Now the second couple of Marines now, so the Adept should be able to be put away, especially with the addition of the Hellion. But uh, Art doesn't really care too much about this guy. He's going to try and get him out of there, but blood. Other than that SCV. Yeah, it looks like uh, 
future just getting ready for not really a uh, aggressive push but what he's doing is he's got a very nice little setup for some isn't essentially some harassment to try and get onto Art's side of the map and Art on the other hand has got the robo facility up he's got Blink on the way as well as getting ready for some harassment of himself Blink is a very aggressive strategy this early on Have to see how well he can utilize that as Spear is on the warpath right now. Like I said this is not going to be enough to end the game, especially not since Art uh, has already begun his uh, gateway count, so he will have enough to defend here. And look at that, just going to bring the pylon, uh, the probes, up into the main base so that he can easier defend this location. And now it's up to kind of damage. He can get done with this. Uh, right now, he might get a stalker if uh, Art's not careful here with the addition of the Matavac coming in. Now, I think there are enough stalkers to really deal with this. Blink helping out a lot. One stalker is going down here. The Warp Prism will be have a lot of potential for Micro here at this point. Now, like Future, is just going to get on out of there with what he's done really that much damage. He did get that Stalker and a Probe, but uh, he was obviously hoping for a little bit more here. Behind this, however, he is just going to be up the aggression as he already has Bl uh, Banshee on the way. Blink is about, or uh, Cloak is about to finish, and he's also got the Medivac picked off. Uh, always not good. Not good at all. But he does have those siege tank as well, so he is prepping for another big here as Art is going to be pre uh, throwing down that robotics bay. Preparing himself to go in here is the one defense against this, that one siege tank. Not really all that important as that warp pick stuff up and drop it right on top. Like everything going well so far, guys. Here actually is still only on two bases here. We'll have to see. If he throws down that third. Is banking up, banking up enough minerals for it. And look at that. Art actually got actually caught the banshees out across the map. The stalkers are in position as well as the detection. So now, here is going to have to cross a different location if hopes to get any damage done. Also prepping as well. He's got those adepts loaded up. Means though are in position. Might want to pull those back. Kind of force the war prism in. Uh, so far the Banshees. Going to get a little bit of work done here. Five going down. And a four. As the war prism does get deflected. Again going down. Going to reveal the third base as well. So future actually getting a little bit of work. I don't think that was worth the, uh, the two Banshees, but that's still some nice damage, and it's really going to throw Art behind just a little bit in terms of that worker count. If we take a look at that worker supply here, and Art are now uh, fighting for control of that that army supply, heavily in favor of get that 20 supply. Art's turn. For the attack, the bunker did get salvaged just then. So now these stalkers are going to have to decide if they're going to come up here. Stim is complete, so uh, Future can chase this. He has to be careful not to overstim his engagement. Art taking a few losses here. Always a little bit painful when that happens. Toss a player. He does not have the Templar Archive, so no Archons just yet. He's trying to stall out for that. Zealots do have charge, but they're going to just charge in their death. The Colossus, really the big damage dealers here, and it's going to force kind of rotate around this position. Set up a Widow Mine drop that does get spotted by the Observer. So a little bit of a two-pronged attack here, although that will get chased off by the 
Stalkers. They do bling into a bad position, however, as the main army gets caught by those forces. Now, Future is going to be pulled back here a little bit to the top of the ramp. The Zealots doing some work, but they're going to get taken out. Now getting burrowed. I don't think Art actually sees this, losing eight workers. Oh my gosh, Future just all over the place doing what he can, but Art is now paying attention. He won't lose. As that third base is going to go down. Besides, he is not going to wait around for that main arm. Send the tanks and the mines home. And instead, what he do with a medevac drop. Good positioning on that pylon by Art is going to make sure that this is scouted out. But there's actually no stalkers with this, so he's not going to be able to chase this down. One marauder getting left behind. That always sucks, but... Yeah, the Stalkers, they're not in position. They're racing back, but I don't think they'll be in time for this Medivacs to unload. So Art is going to be fighting this with a not complete army, and that is going to cost him Stalkers. Now, Peter can actually rotate around from this. Got that third base as another selection. Art does have his four. Stop that, but uh, is it enough? Sure. Taking out quite a bit of that gateway force. Colossus not going to have the cover and defense that they need. And there's a lot of future supplies stuck there, though. As long as Art can kind of keep his eye on that, uh, then he's going to have a real big, a real difficult time getting that out. But for right now, they're kind of just there to try and keep the army, as he's got another force ready to go. Oh, I'm cutting out? Okay. Um, over there. Pull that up. All right. So now it's Art's turn to be aggressive here. Future has quite a few Vikings to deal with this Colossus who actually are getting surrounded from behind. The gateway units are fighting by themselves. The Archons getting taken down, fighting the ghost. So this is a matchup made in heaven for Future as all of those very expensive army units go down. The Disruptor going to get picked, uh, going to try and get a pick off in the back, but it's not going to be enough. And Art takes a huge loss there. And that is actually going to be it. G G is called. So an excellent start to this best of nine series. And uh, while they are selecting the next map, we are going to hop over to the European server in order Make this fair for everyone. Okay, I'm going to try and fix uh, these all issues here. It looks like uh, the desktop audio having a little trouble. Ah, because I am an idiot. I decided to put the wrong thing there. Now you guys can hear. I apologize for that, guys.
So we're just looking around for art here. But yeah, an excellent start to this game. Uh, yeah, uh, while we're kind of waiting for him here, I'd like to remind you guys to check out that Match Arena page. It helps so much. Uh, you can look at it in the chat, actually. It's matcharena.com forward slash tournaments forward slash 29063. And if you type in that code, APS175, that is Alpha Papa Sierra 175, you can add 50 cents to the price pool. And that 50 cents goes quite a long way, ladies and gentlemen. It is seriously, if everybody uses that code, that adds so much. Check that out as we also have a bunch of different ways that you can support the prize pool as well. Sponsor quests. Uh, you can actually even purchase some really cool Alpha X merchandise. I've uh, really been eyeing some of it at myself to add to the prize pool. It looks really nice. And yeah, we are going to be going to Eternal Empire for map number two, ladies and gentlemen. So Eternal Empire, this is a map that really lends itself to the longer game. Most expansions, a lot easier to kind of, uh, it's a lot easier to uh, essentially take those expansions, make it a little bit longer game. Uh, the thir first three bases have that really narrow choke point, so it's a lot so it's pretty easy, and uh, sorry, I, I just got hired today, so I need to get them. But anyway, talking about these, getting back to these players, rem uh, this is their home server, so you won't be seeing that social uh, game tag anymore and speaking of these guys spawning down here in the bottom position he is future and he really has been showing himself in uh as the future of terran and up here in the top position he is representing alpha x art So we'll have to see what these guys decide to do for this one. Once again, we're not seeing anything too early on. No hidden bases. Uh, no, no real uh, hidden expansions just yet. But remember, guys, there is a Protoss in this game. And if anybody's going to be crazy, it's going to be a Protoss. That being said, Future has been known to throw out some very aggressive strategies himself. So we'll have to see what happens in this one. So far, eh, a little bit of poking going on here. The 
probe. Not going to take any damage just yet. Just some uh, chips on the paint. And that SCV, yeah, he's going to have to file with his insurance to kind of get that uh, scratch buffed out. Now, we did see last time in the game, Future, he was very quick to transition and uh, really just very fast in order to make sure that he could block his opponent in a bunch of different ways here, making sure that uh, he didn't get caught off guard. He actually had the ghosts out, I believe, before the Templar Archive even went down. And he just got that really good engagement in the last game, which helped propel him to victory, as well as his multitasking. His multitasking was terrible. Or, uh, not terrible, excuse me. I'm thinking the wrong thing entirely. He No, his multitasking was amazing. It was really good. And kind of just forcing Art to be in multiple locations at, at once with not that many units early on. If he didn't have Blink, he would have been in a lot more trouble. But he still took a bit of damage. So Future going to just have to keep that up in this series. I believe he did scout that Twilight Council going down. So he will know that that is indeed the choice here. Starting to bank up quite a few minerals. So I'll have to see what he's going to do with that. The Pro coming in again, but that is going to get taken out. Bit greedy with the scout there. Gonna be going into a widow mine drop for future. He's just got the first mi couple of mines coming out right now. And, you know, I really like the Widow Mine drop. It's a very, it's kind of risky, especially when your opponent is going for Blink. But the big thing about it is if you are able to get it down, if you are able to get those couple of connections, you can really set your opponent behind. So while it is a big risk, you know, it has those big rewards, especially if your opponent isn't paying attention for just a second. That's all it takes. One second. Starcraft is a game of seconds and a game of inches here. Getting those observers as well, so if Future decides to go for cloak unit, will be in trouble. But once again, we see this kind of we see this kind of ability to push out here as he's got the Liberator coming out. He's got he's got the siege tanks, so it's looking like he's going to be going for a push here very very soon. Reaper going to be going into the main base here, trying to distract. He does not get anything done here, but the Widow Mines, uh, they get picked off here, only losing one worker in the natural. So he does need to get out of there with his medevac. That is a very expensive unit early on. But here we go. Future's next attack is going to be coming out here. He's got double the army supply. If we take a look at that army size, getting really big here. But here we go. The, the SCVs are pulled as well to defend that tank, to repair it. And then he's going to be throwing down some bunkers at that third base. Remember, he's got to get up this ramp. That is the big thing here. There's not that many siege tanks out, so he needs to keep this one alive. He does. He is able to siege up and take this position. Four workers going down as the Liberator actually going to be coming in here in a bit of a backstab while the Stalkers are busy. Now Stalkers are going to be coming around here trying to pick off the reinforcements. I really like this. I really like this move. They are going to get this siege tank uh, for not much trouble there. So that is going to weaken this push a little bit. But now Future does have himself set up a position. With these bunkers up, it's going to be a little bit harder for Art to defend. Uh, but uh, so far, he's, he's doing a decent job not taking too much damage on those Stalkers, losing one near the third base. But behind this, Future does have his third base up and running. Uh, he's got some more Siege Tanks, a couple Marauders. Stim, not super late, but it's going to be a little bit late 
in case uh, Art does decide to attack into this and go for a bit of uh, a uh, bit of harassment himself. <laughs> Good blinks back. He's actually going to be able to get this position uh, future. He's not going to escape with these guys, so he's going to go for the damage on these two, but that is not going to be enough. Now Future does have his own third base down. He's going to get that mining here in just a bit. Take all the extra workers off. And behind this, we see the Colossus out of art. Now what does this mean for art? means that really any kind of aggression out of him is uh, not going to be the best at the moment. And I'm sorry if I seem kind of down on Art right now. He's still in a very powerful position. He's had that third base for much longer. He's been able to mine, and he's got uh, he's not too far behind in terms of the upgrades. So he's still in a relatively good position, but uh, it's going to be difficult to really move in here unless Future moves all of his units out of position, and uh, he's going to lose the siege tank and actually get this third base having to lift off for the time being. Doesn't look like Future really cares about that. He's just going to pull the SCVs and try and end things now. Our Future, you madman. Now he does have a lot of force fields here. He's going to have to defend the ramp is Art. Uh, he cannot let the units get up that ramp. He's got to divide and conquer here. First Guardian Shield is going to be popped. But so far, Future actually doing a good job staying back in, in position with his tanks, making sure those force fields don't uh, do the cutoff that they really need to do. A couple of SCVs actually pushing through here as well. Going to start a couple of bunkers, so here we go. Feel better. starting to run a bit low on energy. He needs to get those Archons up and running. But uh, Future, he's not going to give him that amount of time. This Zealot's rushing in here, trying to force some splash damage from those Siege Tanks. It's not enough just yet. Really good positioning out of Future. He's not moving too far forward. The reinforcements coming in as well. Those SCVs kind of just dead weight at this point because he's not really using them just yet. But now, uh, they are going to be pushed in here. Another warp in of Zealot's going to do what he can, but the Stalkers are getting pushed back. There's not much DPS left with this army. Colossus reigning supreme in the backfield, and actually that is going to be it. Art takes game number two. Fantastic game number two there. I thought it was dead for a minute, but he was able to hold on just long enough to uh, keep the game in his favor. And it looks like uh, Future is going to choose Everdream as his next map. So uh, remember, guys, it is loser picks. <laughs> yeah, Kozan is all happy, happy, happy in the chat. What's up, everyone? Like, really good to see you all here. This is an amazing series so far. Two games in. And uh, already we've seen some very amazing plays out of these guys. And you know what? Let's keep the amazingness going because I've got an amazing sponsor right here. G Fuel. G Fuel gives you the energy for all of your gaming sessions because remember, gaming is a marathon. I'm actually going to do that. But gaming is a marathon, not a sprint. To keep things going, you need that kind of energy and G Fuel gives it to you in a bunch of different flavors in a bunch of different ways. I actually right ha I actually have right here kiwi strawberry which is a delicious flavor. So check them out at the Match Arena page. Make sure you uh, do those sponsor quests for them. It shows G Fuel that we love them. 
It shows these players that we love them, and it adds a little bit of money to the prize pool. And you know how we are about money in a prize pool, ladies and gentlemen. So check them out today. G Fuel. It's an energy formula. Now, uh, Art does is a little bit uh, slower to get into the games only because his uh, PC is a little bit slow. So we're going to have a little bit of downtime between the games. Yeah. You know, we can talk about the map for a second here. I actually enjoy Everdream. You know, it's got that middle path with the rocks, which is very, very kind of interesting to play around in the early game. As uh, you really have to kind of watch out for that. You have, you can destroy the bases, but it takes a little bit of time to do that. And uh, the more time you spend on that, the more time your opponent has to prepare. In a PVT, seconds count. If you get there one second too late, the warp in finishes and your attack is dead. If you're one second too early, win the game. Just outright. I don't know about you guys, but I am still enjoying this. Yeah, just uh, just waiting for Art for a second here, guys, making sure that uh, he's okay, he's good to go. So, how's everyone else's day do going? You know, a lot of going, a lot going on in the world today. We actually have. Uh, uh, if anyone's interested, there is actually the first manned space launch from the United States in over a decade uh, happening today as well. Actually, just a few hours away from me. Uh, sorry, I, like I said earlier, but I just got hired at a place and they keep asking me questions. But uh, you know what? You, got, you guys didn't come here for any of that. You actually came here for these two gentlemen right here. So spawning in the top position of Everdream. He is social. Or future, rather. His opponent. Down here in the bottom, he is Art. So far, once again, I really like the positioning here from Art. Uh, this, what this does allow is that allows it to fall off that position so much easier. Um, basically, when you put the gateway up here and the cybernetics core, you do have a little sliver of room for that Reaper to come through. So what this allows uh, Art to do is hide things a lot better. And as we've seen, he's gone for some very aggressive strategies here that really lend to uh, not, excuse me, uh, to not being found out. But uh, we do see that Reaper going to be coming across here, the Adept being uh, pretty much forced out here. Already we see a very 
a very interesting shield battery here. Art might be expecting uh, some sort of aggression early on here. He's being very cautious in doing so. That is a bit of a mineral sink this early on, so uh, we'll have to see if it pays off for him. So far, it is going to defend against this Reaper. As uh, Actually, there's no Adept. It's just a Stalker. Already, this Reaper starting to get some work done. The Adept actually going to delay this for the time being. Does not kill. Actually, just got it. As I say that, the Adept is going to have to get on out of there. But that will uh, kind of delay that natural for a little bit of time. I believe the Reaper actually gets to go home behind all of this as well. Almost getting the kiss of death here. Good micro so far from both sides. This is actually an epic uh, bottle. A battle, rather. But now Future is getting ready for his next step. He's got the uh, Widow Mines coming out. And the Medivac will be around as well. Now Art, he, he's not really defending his natural with the same kind of uh, pressure that he's put. So uh, roughly here, he's going to have to be careful with his natural more so than his uh, main base, which has the shield battery in place already. Behind this, let's see what does Future decide to go for. He's already thrown down his third, uh, third racks. So he is going to have quite a bit of production here. We'll have to see if he decides to stay on two bases for this. As the Warpers are actually coming in here, Future not in position to stop that. So um, this will get in the main base, a couple of Warpins as well. Quite a few Marines uh, to help this out, but the SCVs are pulled as well. Focus firing down the weakened Stalkers. Still a lot of room for micro potential here a good micro going to save these guys as much as possible but uh, their, their offensive power is now very very hurt dim is on the way and as you can see he is taking the time to just build as many marines as possible here as the widow mines not going to get too much done in arts uh, main and natural good pulls from art as he's going to be coming in here and just focusing down the bunker in the back, or front rather. Once again, a couple of SEVs being pulled to try and defend this. Those stalkers do have their shield back, so they're a lot more potent. But now that the lost SCV count is starting to rise, you got to be careful. You can't pull too far forward. Actually gets a nice connection there. Three workers going down. Bit of a late pull. Does he get it? He does. Five more with that hit. The so future. Getting some good damage done while also forcing uh, Art back in his own base. So now it looks like you know, Future might actually just be staying on two base. Don't see a third base yet. Actually, once again, he's going to get a nice connection with these Widow Mines. Getting, it's small, but it's still very nice at this stage of the game. Stim also going to be complete, so losing a couple of workers here. Not going to be a huge deal. But remember, guys, for both sides, every worker death counts. And uh, here we go, future. Actually, just going to try and move in before Colossus are complete. Got Adept Glaives about to finish up as well, so he's going to be trying to keep those uh, for the DPS. But will there be enough bio here to kind of push their way through it? 
There's no Colossus just yet. It's only about halfway done, and he's chronoing that out as quickly as possible. Third base is going to get delayed, but the reinforcements actually going to take out the Warp Prism, maybe? Yeah, that just barely gets out with its life. But losing the Cybernetics Core, that is some good damage. Keep things up here. The Adepts going to start taking out quite a few workers of their own while Future gets pushed back in the... Uh, in the main base, but Widowmine's actually taking out quite a few of those Adepts. Uh, not that much bio left, but the good spread actually going to take out quite a few of his units. The boss is going down as well. So now he can just go straight to the main base. There is very little army supply, and Ark is going to tap out. EG. So what it's been looking like is that uh, everyone's winning their own servers for the time being. So that is pretty fun. Means we have the potential for a, for a good one. But uh, now it's time for game number four on the European server. Art's home field and his home map. Okay, so we are waiting for Art to come on back in. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in so far as well. And uh, yeah, how is everyone doing tonight? I see Sun Lily is uh, bouncing between a couple of streams. That's always good to see a bunch of different streams. As well as uh, Inky showing up as well. I keep saying as well. It's almost like a drinking game at this point. Oh, sorry, Pearl. I didn't see. I didn't see you. We love you, Pearl. See, you you get the heart. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Pearl, I stayed Okay, so uh, yeah, now we're going to be moving on to Simulacrum, a digital battleground with full complements of chokes, open areas, and expansion choices. And you know what? These guys are ready to go. The second the lobby goes up, they are always fighting, fighting, fighting to get it started. And by that, I mean they're spamming, spamming, spamming the go, 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 go.
Yeah, if you've been enjoying this series so far, remember, you just have so many different ways of supporting uh, the stream and the team as a whole. But uh, I know the best way to support things, ladies and gentlemen, is to check out these guys right over here. Spawning in the bottom position. He is future. As opponent. He's pink and he is ready for action. He is art. Now art question is is he about to hide something or is he scouting out for a proxy he must know something about future and this map because it seems like uh, he's being very cautious here in fact it does look like he is just scouting around expecting future future to maybe proxy on this map now it is a bit of a larger map and uh it can be a little bit difficult to move across, so I wouldn't doubt that Future could usually uh, use this map as kind of a uh, eh, kind of a a cheesy map. But right, right now, Art does see that nothing really too much is going on. Although he is going to be skipping the Reaper and instead going straight for the Marine. And uh, we'll have to see what he's going to do with that. Uh, when you when you don't scout out as a Terran player, it does mean that sometimes you just have this strategy in mind that you know you're going to go for it no matter what. So there's no point in scouting out uh, your opponent because you're just going to do it anyway. right now it does look like we're going to be seeing something cheeky going on here as the scv gonna be, actually is that just a scouting scv oh no that is definitely a proxy stargate move right now so uh future he's gonna do the proxy but art was a bit too fast on the draw to find it behind this what i'm actually expecting is we're gonna see hellions I think the first thing that's going to come out is the medevac and the medevac is going to lift four hellions into the main base and get quite a bit of work done before art really knows what go what's going on the good thing for art he has an amazing wall off right here so the only way to get around is through this direction we'll have to make sure for him that that doesn't hurt him in the long run because you know it it blocks out the hellions but it also blocks his probes in So this is very fun already. The Twilight Council is down, just like in the previous games. That's kind of the bread and butter going for a fast blink timing. And look at that. He actually gets scouted out. So now the Stalkers know which position that they need to be in. And we'll have to see how Future reacts to this. We've seen that when he has a problem, when he gets scouted out, he's been very good about rotating around and instead trying to hit a different location. And he's actually just going to go straight in to the main base of Stalkers, completely out of the way. Future getting eight probes and getting out of there with almost all of the Hellions. He's actually, look at that. He's actually just going to dive in. Uh, the medevac will save two of them, but ten probes going down. That is some amazing damage for future right now. How come Art hasn't won yet? You know why? Because this guy's the future of Terran, and he is showing it in these games. But Art still has the power of Protoss in him, and... Uh, Looking at that, he is in a perfect position to kind of snipe this medevac. He's being very cautious right now to make sure that those Hellions get no more damage. 
Starport not going to be able to be used for quite a bit of time there as it is having to float on back, but he does delay the third base, which is really nice. Just anything you can do to slow down your opponent, keep him from uh, advancing forward. Be careful with that medevac. But uh, actually, he's in a nice... Nah, he can't get in there. Too many stalkers. Now, Art kind of knows he's a little bit behind at this point because his third base is so late. So he's going for the win behind Dark Shrine plus the Forge. Medivac, going to try and get in there, but that is just going to get delayed. By delayed, I mean push back. I don't know English, apparently. But Art once again has the Warp Prism in position to do some work. Now the, uh, the DTs do get dropped here. Does, I don't think Future actually has enough energy, uh, but he does have the missile turret in position. So he was able to stop the, stop the semi damage at only three workers. So, so far, not the best start for harassment here, but Art does have a couple more tricks up his sleeve. He's getting blink for those DTs, which is gonna just gonna make them so much more powerful. Although now he does need to defend and almost double the army supply Terran player. And you guys in the chat are right. It is very good for health to, e to uh, be watching SC2. It's less good for your health to be playing it and uh, having to see this come across the map. But... Uh, so far, those DT is going to do what they can. They already have forced two scans out, so you have to be careful as future not uh, not to mule too much. But uh, right now, he's already gotten such good damage done. He's only got two orbitals, but the blink forward going to be coming up, and the, they blink right on top of the widow mine. The DT is doing some good work here. No scans available, and they are actually going to push this entire army back. However, the reinforcements coming in. And with the last scan, the rest of Art's army is going to go down. Future going up 3-1. What an exciting game right there. That two base all in is really showing its potential and its power. So future, increasing his lead quite a bit. And you know what? You guys can have it too because you need, what you need is the energy of G Fuel. G Fuel brings you the energy and the power to compete in long-term gaming sessions and also just make sure that you have the energy to go about your day as well as you possibly can. Today is a tumultuous world with everything going on and you need the energy to face it. So check out G Fuel today by going to the Matcharino links and completing those sponsor quests. I have right here kiwi strawberry and there are so many different great flavors that you can try and it gives you a lot of great energy without having you have that crash later. I've actually had a couple of these before and every single time I've never felt that sluggishness that you'd get with uh, other with other uh, energy drinks and they're even low calorie so that if uh, you're on a diet this can help you're not going to uh, have too many problems so check them out at the stream link today
Hey, Enki bro, what is up, man? Make sure we're actually on the right U European server. And hope I didn't just accidentally hit exit game. But also, check out Maturino just as a whole, you know? APS 175 adds 50 cents to the prize pool by itself. And uh, there is enough people here that you can actually do that pretty easily. You can use up those codes and you can... Uh, Give these guys a lot of money because they have they have the hearts of champions here. Now it's Art's Choice once again. We are four games in the bag. That means we have three available. And they're kind of the more interesting ones. We've got uh, Golden Wall, Zen, and uh, Purity left. Kozan did the code. You are a legend, man. I'm going to set something up while we're getting into game here. Yeah, remember, guys, we still got a lot of series left. So keep that energy up. Keep that excitement up. As we're going to be bringing it towards these guys in game. If I can hit the right button. You are a legend too, Anki. And yeah, it took almost no time. So you know what? That just shows. A couple of seconds makes a bright day for these guys. And speaking of a bright day, spawning up here in the top position, he's Alpha X's own Art. And his opponent down here in the bottom representing Infinity Gaming he is Future. Going by social in uh, this lobby. Now, Art, he's been playing his games very straight up here so far, and uh, it's really been going, it's been going good for him overall. But over, but he just needs to be able to, he just needs to be able to kind of push his way through Future. Uh, future is kind of like a brick wall in this series so far. The pink Polish Protoss. Oh man, me trying to, like if I try and say pink Polish Protoss, I'm just going to uh, get my tongue completely tied. I can't even speak real English, so trying three letter, three Ps at the same time is going to kill me. But, uh, yeah, so far Probe is just, or Art rather, is just going to dance around with this Probe. I try and hang out for as long as possible. It doesn't really get too much done, but you never really expect it to. As we see this double CC going down and the Nexus is ab uh, excuse me, is about to complete as well.
Uh, but Art actually is going to be switching things up here, utilizing the fact that this map is a bit harder to scout for proxies as you can't get over to this location very easily. Uh, going for that very fast Stargate play, the Adept going to come out, try and uh, get this Reaper away. Art has lost a couple of probes early on to a Reaper in this series so far, but he's uh, always been good about bouncing back from that. And he will have the potential to get quite a bit of damage done. As we have seen from Future, he's been going for a more aggressive style, but he hasn't been really getting enough to deal with oracles he's been going for he's been going for hellions he's been going for widow mines he hasn't been going for really cyclones or something that's super good against oracles now once again it is going to be widow mines so if he could get a good connection here but art is just shown what a micro god he is i don't think he'll be losing the oracle to the uh to the Widow Mines. It's okay, Inky. My English isn't fluent either. And it's the only thing I speak, so... Anyway, the Oracle going to be coming out. The Adepts going to do what they can to distract these guys. But in the main base, the Oracles... Flying on in. Gonna get what damage done it can go. Did he actually lose the first Oracle? Oh my gosh, the Widow Mine actually got it. That's something you don't expect. Still, he is gonna get a few more workers here as the Adept gonna be picking him off as well. A future having to, having to pick and choose where to defend. And now he's going to have a bit of a later Cyclone and a Viking just very scared of any follow-up from those Oracles. Although this Medivac is going to see what it can get done. The Phoenix not in position. Is Art paying attention? He is indeed. He's going to get out of there just in the nick of time. Going to get a nice pick off there. The Widowmine. I think it got picked off in the natural as well, so not not so much any damage done here. So that future gonna have to gonna have to hop on out of there before those Phoenix absolutely shred through his medevac. Art doing a much better t doing much better in this game for the defense, and he's really put future as I say that. Where'd they die? I actually don't see the Widowmine. Okay, that is big. Losing five workers. Actually, just going to pick off the... Uh, going to pick off the Oracle. He will lose the Viking for it, but, but the Oracle is a much bigger deal. The Oracle allows revelation, and the Oracle uh, will be able to keep tabs on Future's army. So, losing that... Looks like uh, Future's going to be in an okay position. I don't see a third CC once again. And he's already had. He already has his uh, three. He already has three racks. His army supply, double that of art right now almost. And it looks like he's going to move out once again with the second batch of medevacs. This is going to get scattered with the Phoenix. He knows that this is going on, but he does does pick off one Phoenix. Will he have enough at home already? Art is going to be trying to clear up this position so that he can have more room to fight. A big gateway explosion as well on three base. So he just needs to hold on a little bit longer here. If he can survive this push, he's going to be in a great position. He just has to lose not too much. Moving on forward, Stim. Five seconds away, Future just waiting for it. But that's going to allow the shield batteries to com uh, to complete. And uh, yeah, the Zealots are going to start picking away at this, but they're starting to go down, wasting a lot of that shield battery energy. Going to try and pick off one of the Phoenixes as well, but Future is going to have to back off for right now. He's going to try and keep the aggression moving here, but 
Uh, he's getting weaker and weaker with each push, and Art is getting stronger and stronger. Oh, look at that. Future is going all in with this. This is Art's chance to get back in this series. Losing one of the uh, centuries is pretty bad, but the, the Widowmines getting some decent connections actually on the Zealots, so these SEVs are just going to be buffering. Oh my gosh, this is just really hard to call at the moment. The SEVs need a little bit more focus fire, but the Widowmines not wanting to go off just yet. A few more warp ins is going to make this so much more difficult. The probes being pulled as well. I can't see everything. But it looks like Future is just barely going to push his way through this. There is not that much left, but keep in mind there's also not that much healing energy left, so a few more warp ins means that this location might uh, might be able to hold and uh, Future, he takes down this position. Uh, only six army supply to 50. He's going to go after the third base here, but is that going to be enough? He's sending the SEVs home, so he might actually be trying to play this out now that he's evened the playing field a lot. But Art is not going to give him that chance. He is going to tap out, and Future goes up to match point. And now, the final defense for Art on his own server. Will he be able to do the reverse sweep? Will he be able to bring it back? I don't know, but I can tell you we'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know why I said we'll be right back. Oh, Inky, your English is very good, man. Uh, don't don't sweat it too much. D fuel matchreno dot com. You know what? Let me actually show you guys what I'm talking about here. When I say matchreno dot com, for those of you who actually haven't used it before, check this out. This is the matchreno dot com page. Twenty nine zero six three is the tournament link. And you can see we got Art versus Future here, current prize pool. But you guys have been bumping that up quite a bit. On the side here, you can see the different G Fuel energy, energy formula uh, match quests. You follow them on Twitter. You can follow them more on Twitter, even more on Twitter, and more Twitter. You can also check out the marketplace down here. If you want to contribute, you just hit the contribute button. Type in the code APS175. That will add 50 cents to the price pool. You can even have a comment of fighting. Awa. And you can also add some funds if you want to add some of your own money. You can also complete the sponsor quests or visit the marketplace. But I'm just going to hit contribute right here. And it is added to the price pool. And take a look at that down there. We got Snoopy and a bunch of other amazing individuals right there who have done the contributors. You can actually get your name in game as well. So yeah, check it out today as we go on to Golden Wall. Did you guys actually see that page? Or was it just a blank screen? Where am I from? I have been from all over the world. California originally, Japan for 11 years, uh, the Midwest, and now I live in Florida. Black window. Okay. <laughs> so the uh, display capture didn't really work. 
Good to know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a couple of guys down here looking to end things. Spawning in the top position. He's Infinity Gaming's future. And his opponent in the bottom for Alpha X, it is Art. Oh no no that that window right there it's meant to, it's meant to be blank because I uh, forgot to switch it over to the I got forgot to switch it over to SE two since I was casting with FE uh, FE equals MA. <laughs> but anyway, Art is going to get a scout off. Try he's going to see that there is indeed a barracks, but he's got to recognize that this timing is a little bit late for this Rax. He's got to know that this is coming here, and this is the map to do it. I don't think the Reaper can actually get through here. But it's still a two racks. It's still super dangerous for Golden because the rush distance isn't that far. And so far, he doesn't really have the alarm bells ringing just yet. going to try and delay the second CC, but I don't think there will be a second CC for quite a bit of time here. It is just going to be Tech Lab Marine. And Future is going to be able to push him out here. Art, please, man, if you're hearing this, you need to defend. Hold the door. Yeah, unfortunately, he hasn't seen it just yet. And this is kind of a fun strategy out of future. It's almost like similar to one Byun was doing back in 2016. Uh, back then, what you would see is you would see kind of a two racks, but you would get uh, a couple of Marauders and a Marine, and uh, you would push the and you would push the Protoss player back very heavily. But here we go. The Stalker is going to see this for the first time. He's going to get slowed down and may actually just get taken out here. That is the entire army gone. And Future is your Alpha Pro Series 175 champion. Wow, what a way to end things. Future, you evil, evil man. But, uh, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us here at the Alpha Pro Series. I've been Passer. Shout out once again to our amazing sponsors, uh, to you guys in the chat, because you have... Uh, been a great support of this series as a whole. We've got plenty more awesome series coming out for you. Uh, my name's been Pastor. You can find me at my Twitter link down below. If you see anything online that says Pastor2300, like 80 to 90% of the time, it's going to be me. So drop in and say hi. And uh, yeah, once again, shout out to all of you guys. Alpha Pro Series is a, is a community run event. And with that, I've been Passer, and I will see you guys at the next big thing.